Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all okay. So today I thought I'd vlog. It's been a while since I've actually been on here. I think my last video was a top 10 pregnancy tips and I'm now not pregnant so it's been a while um so yeah I have had my baby and I will be uploading my birth story and things like that soon it has literally just been a whirlwind um so like the newborn days have just been mental and I've just been in like this nice cute little bubble and I thought it's about time that I get on and start filming again so yeah we did have our little boy we had little Ronnie um he's coming up nine weeks old now in fact no he's nine weeks today um so yeah it's been lovely and yeah I just thought I'd get back into filming obviously I'm on maternity leave so it gives me something to do and if you guys want to watch then even better so yeah if you want to see like a little mum vlog then um just keep watching apologies for the appearance at the moment I have just got back from a gym session um so I take Ronnie with me it's a legs bums and tums for mums so it's really cute and the babies just lay on the floor watch you um whilst you're doing a bit of exercise so yeah it's really great so i'm just doing my hair um so yeah i just thought i'd come on and have a little chat um i'm not going anywhere i do need to pop to the shop and the post office but it just makes me feel so much better when i've like done my hair and maybe a bit of makeup um, so yeah, I'm just doing my hair, I'm just quickly straightening it, it really needs a wash tonight, so I will be doing that once Ronnie's in bed. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really it, so we've had little Ronnie, um, he will make an appearance on the vlog shortly, he's just in the lounge, um, on his bean bag. But yeah, he's been really, really good actually, I've been really lucky, um, considering he's like my first baby. Um, he has suffered from wind, but obviously that's pretty standard really for babies, isn't it? Um, but yeah, he's been really, really good and I can't complain. He's sleeping really well at the moment. Um, I will be doing a video as well in the next few days, um, of my newborn routine for bedtime. Um, I've been really, really strict on routine actually, pretty much since we brought him home. Um, just because I do believe it's something that's important sort of they grasp the idea of bedtime then don't they well hopefully um so yeah I've been pretty strict on that and I do feel like it's helping so if anyone wants sort of some tips on that I'm by no means an expert as I say I'm a first time mum I'm like learning as I go um but yeah I can pop a video on for you guys so that may be helpful for anyone um Will, my other half, he's gone back to work now for nine days, so he works away from home. Um, so yeah, he's gone back today for nine days. So I just really like to like fill my days up, fill my week up, because otherwise it can get a bit like you're constantly waiting for them to come home kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I've just been making plans really, like little jobs I want to do, um, seeing a few friends like in a few days go into baby groups that type of thing and then the time just passes um i see my mum too because she's just up the road so yeah that's that's it really but i will take you along for a few days this week and i've got some other videos planned but if there are any videos that you guys kind of want to see um then just let me know sorry i'm just like multitasking here and i've realized my hair really needs a wash so mum life probs need some dry shampoo on that um yeah if there are any like newborn videos or like anything that you want to see let me know and i'll be sure to film them for you somebody has just woke up so i thought i'd bring him in and introduce him so this is ronnie you're ronnie aren't you you're ronnie <laughs> he's too busy looking out the window um yeah this is ronnie he was born on the 5th of march so he's nine weeks old now um and yeah he's a really good boy he really is um yeah you're a good boy aren't you <laughs> um here we do a feed soon but yeah we're getting on great um as i say i will upload a birth story for you guys um soon we had a bit of a whirlwind birth not gonna lie um yeah it was a bit dramatic to be fair didn't quite expect he came three weeks early so didn't quite expect to have him that soon um but yeah 
of course we were happy to have him early and everything was well once he was born we were really really over the moon weren't we weren't we <laughs> um yeah so i'll upload a birth story and i will be uploading like different newborn videos but yeah this is ronnie <laughs> So I'm just doing my makeup. Um, Ronnie's having a little nap <laughs> on my bed, which I don't make a habit of, but it's just so that I can get ready and he's just led here and I'm just literally getting ready in the same room. Um, and then we are, I have actually just decided that I think we're going to pop to um, Hobbycraft, which is not far from us. It's a short drive. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd have a little look around there. So I'm ready now. Um, we are just going to head to Hobbycraft just something to do and I need some bits so yeah I thought I would pop there why not um so I've just popped this headband in my hair just to hide the grease <laughs> um this one's from Primark it was just two pounds I love these I've got quite a few of them actually and I just think they like do up an outfit quite a bit um and then I've just got on this polo neck and my ripped jeans you can't really see them but yeah just these ripped jeans so yeah i'm gonna get ronnie in the car seat and then we are going to go now I've been to Hobbycraft um I didn't get everything that I wanted to be honest I, I don't really know what I went for pretty pointless I know but I really wanted I had an idea of like making like some sort of memory box or like a memory book for Ronnie with like photos and like all his special bits but I think I need to think it through more I was just like walking around the shop like thinking it was going to jump out of me out of me and it really didn't so I think I need to think that through and maybe come back next week because I want to make something really nice um, so maybe I'll go on Pinterest for that. But I did get a few bits and bobs. Um, I'll show you when I get home. But yeah, I'm going to drive home now. So see you soon. Home now. Um, yeah, I popped Hobbycraft, Haskins, as you saw. Didn't quite get what I was expecting, um, to be honest with you. I don't know what I was expecting, really. I didn't really plan it, but... He's asleep. Don't know why he's making so much noise um yeah i don't know what i was expecting i kind of imagined like finding something that i could create like a memory box or a memory book for ronnie to put like all his bits in um which they did have those there but i feel like i need to think it through as i was saying like more like what i'm gonna do and what bits i need i didn't want to just like buy things for the sake of it so i didn't bother um but I will probably go back like next week. Oh, that was a bit close. I will probably go back next week. Um, but I did get these for the boys' rooms. Um, so I got an R, obviously for Ronnie, um, and then an A for Alfie. And then I got the little and sign. So I thought I could put those like on the wall on a shelf, like R and A. Um, and then I got some of this Mod Podge um, glue, which I was thinking I'll use that with the... I just got some like silver glitter if it'll focus just silver glitter I've seen quite a few like good arts and crafts on Pinterest and YouTube where they use this Mod Podge so it's like a gloss and then you put the glitter on and then you put this on again and it like waterproofs it so it's like really cool so yeah I got those um the big letters were two pound each and then this and sign was a pound so five pounds um and they do do bigger ones of these, but I just got a small one because I thought I would test it out on those. And then I just got some card because I'm making some cards this week. We've got like some birthdays and things. Um, so I've done like footprints and handprints of the boys and then I'm going to turn it into um, different things. So yeah, I'll probably do a video or on my Instagram of that. So keep an eye out. Um, and then I think that's all I really got. And then I just popped a little after. I was thinking, I've got this vase, it's like a Christmassy one, but every year I get it out and we never use it. So I was thinking about Mod Podge in this, um, so using the Mod, Mod Podge, whatever it's called, um, and then popping like glitter all over it. So I thought that would look quite cool because then it, I can put it up all year round then. 
um, and pop like pot puree or something in there um, or a candle so yeah let me know what you think of that but I might do that with that vase so yeah that's also what I was thinking um, but yeah I'm just gonna get Ronnie sorted change his bum mum life um, he's due a bottle and then he'll probably go down for like a half an hour nap um, half an hour to an hour I usually keep him awake between like six and eight um, or try to he has a bath at eight o'clock but all that will be in my new newborn um, bedtime routine video but yeah he'll probably have a nap for like an hour and whilst he's napping I will wash bottles and make dinner I was just thinking um so since Ronnie's been born we had him on the Tommy Tippy anti-colic bottles um we bought like a massive set it came with like a sterilizer um lo like eight bottles I think um you probably know the ones I'm the sets I mean that it comes with like bottle warmer um little pots everything that you need basically um and Ronnie for the first like seven weeks I would say until he was about seven weeks so it's only been a couple of weeks that I've seen improvement um he had horrendous wind like anything that I tried just didn't work I tried Infocol I tried gripe water I tried Colleaf drops um I literally tried everything and it just didn't work he didn't like being led on his back so I thought maybe he had a bit of silent reflux he was showing symptoms of that um, so we tried him with Gaviscon sachets that were prescribed by the doctor and that just made him worse um, and then I was literally at the end of my tether and I was like what do I do do I change his milk so he's on SMA Pro um, and yeah I just didn't really know what to do and then I was speaking with a friend and she said that she had the same issue with the Tommy Tippy anti-colic bottles which was the last thing that I thought would have been the issue um so we took her advice and we bought one man bottle um so all the man bottles this is obviously it taken apart but all the man bottles are anti-colic um so they have a valve in the bottom um so with the holes in the bottom and then you put like a little silicone thing in so we bought one of those and honestly like ronnie is a completely different baby in the way of like he's so much more content he's happy after feeds he takes more milk um so before it was just a mission to just get like three ounces down him bedtimes were taking like an hour and a half night feeds were taking two hours so literally by the time i'd finished one night feed i was going into the next and now feeding takes like i would say 30 to 40 minutes which is about average um so yeah if anyone has problems and they're literally at the end of their tether with their child like not knowing what to do for them then try the man bottles um i mean it may not work for everyone of course because every baby is different but i am sure that that was the issue he obviously didn't he wasn't like getting on very well with the tommy tippy bottles and it wasn't agreeing with him so yeah i mean we changed and it's the best thing that i ever done because now i'm getting sleep <laughs> I'm just finishing off a card that I've made, well, Alfie made from the boys, but I'm just finishing off because he had to go home by the, before he finished it um, for my dad for his birthday. So I'm just doing that at the moment. I've got all the arts and crafts bits out, but I am going to bath Ronnie shortly. Um, he's just in his chair. I'm trying, to work, I'm trying to decide if he's like danger napping or not. Um, it's like quarter past seven. He goes to bed around half eight and... I don't know I still can't decide if he's like too young to danger nap um because obviously he is only nine weeks old and I feel like you have got to sort of just go with it um but I don't know I may wake him up in a minute it's a bit dodgy isn't it so I finished the card now so this is it. I love 
um, like the turning like handprints and footprints into stuff. So I usually do this at Christmas and turn it into like something if I can think of ideas. But I got this idea on Pinterest. Um, so that's Alfie's handprint. Minus one finger. <laughs> um, and Ronnie's footprint. So yeah, we turn it into a little monster card for my dad. And it's from your little monsters. to sort out some parcels so basically since i've been on maternity leave i've started like selling old junk on ebay um and it's actually sold like really well like stuff that i didn't even think would sell has um so yeah i've just been clearing out like old stuff i had loads of stuff in my mum's loft that like from years and years ago just like things from when i was younger old clothes that i was saving to do a boot sale but now i'm not gonna have the time to do a car boot sale really um so yeah i've just been popping it on ebay parceling it up um once it's sold and then taking it to the post office like every few days and it's actually done really well and it's nice to have like the bit of extra money where i'm mat leave and stuff um so yeah i'm just parceling those bits up that i've sold today <laughs> when I'm selling old stuff like to me this stuff is literally just junk like I wouldn't use any of this now um it's just like old stuff that I no longer need and it's no use to me and like when I'm selling stuff like this and people actually buy it I just think like it's just crazy um but it's that saying isn't it I can't remember what the saying is it's like your junk is like someone else's treasure or something is that right yeah something like that <laughs> um but yeah it it's true isn't it because like to you it's just no use but to someone else this is like good stuff i'm just gonna check ronnie ronnie goes in his own bedroom um he i have got a monitor on him he's fine <laughs> um ronnie goes in his own bedroom because he just sleeps so much better in his own room which is crazy um, but yeah, he's been in his own bedroom for like a good few weeks now, and yeah, he's he's just so much more settled, so we do that. Um, a lot of people would disagree, it's not for everyone. Health is to will probably say not to, but health is to say to not do a lot of things, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've done it for a good few weeks now, and we find that... He sleeps better in his own room and we've just got a monitor on and I keep the, like, the monitor in our bedroom all night so I can hear him um, and when he cries or grunts or moans then I just go in there and check on him and yeah it works so um, that is what we do. Um, he's in a really good routine like in his own little room, we feed in his own room and stuff so I'm really strict on routine. I don't know if I've said before. Sorry, I'm just multitasking. Um, it's quite nice to just sit here and sort of chat to you guys whilst I'm doing this. You may not watch this and you may be bored, but who knows. We'll be filming tomorrow. Um, I will try and film my prime up for tomorrow, I think. And that will be up in the next few days i need to get this one edited tomorrow as well should i get time um which i plan to have time all going well but yeah in the meantime i will 
be on Instagram stories. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, then head over and do so. Um, it's just Emily Rose Hansford, um, I think. I'm sure it is. Ah, oh, it's Emily Hansford, kiss kiss. So Emily Hansford XX all one word but i will pop it on the video um i'll pop a little thing on the video so you can see and i will link it in the description box as well um but yeah i'm gonna be making a lot more vlogs and things now especially now i've got ronnie um so yeah i'd love it if you stuck around if you like these sort of things i will be making regular videos all things like lifestyle mummy life fashion um hauls speed cleaning things like that so if you like that sort of thing then do hit the subscribe button below it's free of charge and i'd love for you to come and join our little journey but until next time see you soon bye guys